Hi, I am Prashant Verma, a scientist working at Nerjaft, Kolkata. Nerjaft stands for National Institute of Research on Jute and Allied Fibers Technology. I am going to discuss about a short project carried out at SICOT, that is, Central Institute of Research on Cotton Technologies, located in Mumbai. This project is about development of cotton polylactic acid blended yarn. Dr. Guru Prasad, who is a scientist at Sikot, assisted me throughout this project. Let us first see why we go for fiber blending. Fiber blending facilitates fiber processing. This means that in case of some fibers where processing on machinery is problematic due to fiber property, an assistance is required. This assistance may be provided by blending with another fiber, having better spinning performance. To give you an example, consider coconut fiber. The diameter of these fiber being larger, it is difficult to spin fibers into fine yarn. This is because a minimum number of fibers are needed to be present in a yarn cross-section. But this problem can be overcome by blending comparatively finer jute fibers. Blending of fibers helps to enhance overall yarn properties. This happens as both the component fibers contribute their characteristic behavior into the resultant yarn. In other words the absence of certain desirable property is supplemented by the other fiber. Blending is also carried out to reduce overall cost of the yarn. Like in the case of polyester cotton blend. Increasing polyester component brings down the overall cost of the yarn. But reduction of cost is not true in all the cases. In some cases Niche fiber are blended for value addition in the final product, which the case will be in a cotton PLA blend. Sometimes, to achieve a special multicolor effect in yarns, fibers of different colors are blended together. Now let us see what actually polylactic acid, or PLA is. PLA is a polymeric form synthesized from lactic acid monomer. Lactic acid can be obtained through microbial fermentation of corn starch or cane sugar. Direct polycondensation of lactic acid yield a polymer with very low molecular weight. Thus, in case of lactic acid polymerization, a dimer is formed, which is called lactide. These lactides undergo ring opening polymerization to form polylactic acid. Each molecule herein is linked by an ester bond. Thus PLA is an aliphatic form of polyester. Talking about the characteristics of PLA. PLA is renewable as it is produced from corn or cane sugar. It is also biodegradable after a hydrolysis treatment at 98% relative humidity and temperatures beyond 60 degrees Celsius. The glass transition temperature of PLA is in a range of 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. Melting point of PLA is relatively low and ranges from 173 to 178 degrees Celsius. PLA shows a moisture content of around 0.4 to 0.6 percentage. It is an excellent resistance to ultraviolet radiation. Fabric made from 100% PLA fiber shows an SPF value of greater than 40. Density of PLA being low, that is 1.25 grams per cubic centimeter, it offers higher bulk. Refractive index of PLA is between 1.35 to 1.45. Because of its lower refractive index, PLA fiber dye to a deeper shade compared to polyester fiber. The limiting oxygen index value of PLA is 26. Thus it offers a chance of PLA fibers to be used in fire retardant material. PLA offers the advantage of reduced landfills because of its biodegradability. 
improved fabric breathability due to its wicking performance. Improved ultraviolet resistance. Dying to deeper shades. Lower smoke generation during burning. Up to 60% lower peak energy release rate compared to polyester while burning. So, with the blending of PLA fibers with cotton, these advantages can be incorporated into the blended material. But before we talk about blending of PLA fibers with cotton fibers, it is necessary to check the blending compatibility. One of the important component of this compatibility, is the mechanical behavior of the two fibers. As you can observe, from the tenacity versus percentage extension curve, of cotton and PLA fibers. PLA fibers has high extension to break, up to 55 percentage. Whereas cotton has a significantly lower extension at break, up to a level of 10 percentage. Thus blending of PLA and cotton fibers offers a challenge. And so it is important to carry out, systematic research work, to analyze and overcome this challenge. The objectives of this research work were to assess the running performance of 100% PLA fibers and cotton PLA blends, to determine the mechanical performance of the blended yarns, and to create a basic understanding for development of commercially suitable cotton PLA blended yarns. After searching the research database, we found that some work on blending of PLA and cotton has been done by Chinese universities. Cotton PLA blends are under trial stage, and processing guidelines are yet to be published by fiber manufacturer, NatureWorks LLC. Blending of PLA as weft in the fabric has been reported. Here 100% PLA yarn was used in weft, and 100% cotton yarn was used in wool warp. Coming back to our research study. We have used cotton BS729, which is a breeder's sample from Tamil Nadu Agricultural University. This cotton has a 2.5% span length of 28.2 mm. 50% span length of 13.8 mm. Uniformity ratio of 49. Micronair value of 3.3 micrograms per inch. Strength value of 21.7 grams per tex. And elongation of 5.5 percentage. PLA fibers used in our study have been imported from China. This PLA fiber has a linear density of 1.5 dtex. A fiber length of 38 millimeters. Fiber tenacity of 32 to 36 centinewton per tex. Fiber extension in a range of 50 to 60 percent. Moisture content of 0.4 to 0.6 percent. And a crimp level of 30 to 35 every 10 centimeter. For this study we decided to spin 40s count yarn. Four different yarns were made, that is. 100% PLA, 50% cotton, 50% PLA, 80% cotton, 20% PLA, and 100% cotton. We plan to test the following parameters. Twist, count, CSP, tenacity, elongation at break, and percentage unevenness. Now let's have a look at the yarn manufacturing process. The yarn was processed in micro spinning system at 60% relative humidity and 25 degrees Celsius temperature. The process starts with hand opening and blending. Lap formation. Carding. Sliver formation.
doubling and drafting on draw frame. Roving formation on speed frame. Ring spinning. And finally getting the ring spun yarn. After running the experiments it was observed that there were no major issue in processing PLA and its blends. No PLA fiber damage was observed in carded sliver. This was verified by HVI results of carded sliver. Minimal PLA fibers were removed as carding waste. Few incidents of sliver jamming in the coiler tube were also observed in case of 100% PLA and PLA blended slivers. The results obtained after testing of yarn are shown in the table. It can be seen that the level of twist that is 28 TPI is almost the same in all the yarns. Same is the case with count which is around 40s. Although the percentage unevenness was higher in all the cases. From the plot of CSP values of different type of yarns it can be observed that the value of CSP reduces with increasing PLA content in a blend. This is because PLA fibers having higher extension is not a load bearing component. Thus in a blended yarn it reduces the content of cotton fiber which is the load bearing component. This explains why with increasing PLA fiber component the CSP value reduces. In case of 100% PLA fibers the CSP value recorded is quite low. This may be due to high level of twist to a comparatively longer fiber resulting into a obliquity effect. When we compare the single yarn strength values of different yarns we again see the same effect that is reduction in strength with increasing PLA fiber component in the blend. Although in this case the 100% PLA fiber yarn shows marginally better tensile strength which is expected. But the fiber obliquity effect has again reduced its tensile strength to a lower than expected value. Percentage extension of different yarns at break was plotted. The lower level of extension recorded in case of cotton PLA blended yarns clearly suggests the tensile behavior. Lower extension means that yarn break was recorded once cotton component was ruptured. A very marginal increase in extension from the 100% cotton yarn sample suggests a very low assistance of PLA fibers in the tensile performance. Extension value of 100% PLA fiber yarn is significantly higher, up to 17%. Higher twist levels have prevented the yarn to reach the normal level of extension, which is around 23 to 25 percentage. More importantly we can observe a very high variation in extension values. This is due to the fact that 100% PLA fiber yarn show more thin places compared to other yarns. These thin places act as a weak spot and results in high variation in recorded data. So, from this study we conclude that PLA and its blend show good running performance on present machinery. Coiler jams are due to excessive compression followed by relaxation. This can be reduced by reducing calendar roller pressure prior to coiler tube. Increasing PLA fiber content results in reduction of tensile strength of the yarn. This happens as PLA fiber elongates on application of load and stress is thus accumulated on cotton fiber. Lower breaking extension observed in 100% PLA fiber yarn is due to higher twist level. 80% cotton and 20% PLA fiber blend performs the best. Although, there is still scope of improvement on the properties achieved through twist optimization and more controlled spinning operation. Thank you.